What's up guys, and today we're announcing a very special series. It's going to be a little Let's Play series on the Poisonous Potato Update for Minecraft Java Edition. For those of you that don't know, it is a April Fool's update, and oh, the starting s screen's already giving me good vibes. This is... Yes, Potato Potato. I love how it says the starch must flow in the splash text. That's pretty funny. All right, so I'm gonna create a new world so that we can get right into it. Alrighty, loading up the new world. So right off the bat, so far I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Although it seems we got a bonus chest over here. Let's see. Oh, okay, we got potatoes, po poisonous ones too. Hopefully not too worthless in this update anymore. That one's got a special name, it must be something different, and then... We might be eating potatoes. Alrighty, I didn't think you guys wanted to see me sorting my inventory, so I made a cut right there. Sorry, I'll try to keep the cuts at minimum, so we can get a good Let's Play experience. Alright, we have some armor, some pretty worthless swords, and... Potatoification must some weird enchantment. Um pickaxes, but they're golden, so pretty worthless too. But we're gonna use them for now. Oh okay. Potatoes are definitely gonna be our main food source now. After all, it is the poisonous potato update. Just hopefully we don't end up eating the poisonous ones. Alrighty, just gonna gather some potatoes. And we got a decent amount of potatoes in a very short amount of time. Yeah, that's a ridiculous amount of potatoes. Alright, I think our priority will get be to get to the new dimension in this. Oh, nope, oh, okay, we can put this on our head. Press space, okay. Whoa, steady on your feet there. You're probably thinking, what's the deal with this guy? I invite you to take a moment to consider my situation. We've been planning on infiltrating Minecraft, but all we could do is s sneaking into the April Fool's snapshot, and now you've discovered us. But you have any idea how difficult it is to write Java code? It's not as simple as copying samples from the internet. There's also a lot of pasting involved. <laughs> Alright. Oh, more potatoes. And how did that dead bush give me potatoes? We had to write tens lines of code by rolling on the keys and hoping for the best. That's funny. And now that I have finally infiltrated Minecraft, you pranced on over, picked me up, and plopped me on your head. I must say, you have incredible balance keeping me up here. Especially considering you're jumping so much. Why are you jumping? Are you being startled? I don't see much to be startled by around here. Then again, I have no eyes, I am a poisonous potato. So really I'm not going to see much at all. Although the little sprouts growing out of me are also called eyes. Perhaps if I squint hard enough I can see where we're at. Watch out, there's a block over there. Try not to be startled by it. Maybe I need a moment to breathe and relax. The world is very startling after all. If we can find a village, we can take one of those beds and rest. Let's find a Minecraft village. Alright, uh, I'm jumping, okay, there's nothing else happening, so I think that's our objective. I'm just gonna take off this, whatever it is. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna go try and look for anything out of the ordinary, and hopefully we can make our way to the potato dimension. And yes, apparently sand gives me potatoes, that is interesting, to say the least. Alright, and apparently you can stack the poisonous potatoes up to 99. Here, wait, let me test this theory, or is that just some weird bug? Alright, 63. Yep. Yeah, you can stack the poisonous potatoes up to 99. Why? I have no idea, but apparently... Oh, there's something over there, so let's go over that way. Also, to be honest, to be a Minecraft developer and just be developing a literal April Fool's potato update would be amazing. <laughs> that is that is definitely a dream job. Alright, so what is this thing over here? We got... 
potato-ish looking blocks. And no idea what these this brick is. Um it takes a while to mine, so it's probably just gonna break. We can mine that. It is let's see, Terre de Pome. Interesting. Don't know what that is. Take a few blocks of it so just in case when we go through the portal we're like the portal generates in the air or something. Alright. Potatoes. Iron. Yeah. Alright, we got an iron hoe and potato oil. It's very slippery. Okay. <laughs> And this looks like what would be the portal thing. So let's put a potato on and see if it is. Alrighty, yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the portal. So we gotta just stand on it, I guess. Alright, put on that so we're ready. Yeah, we should be good. Hopefully it's not ridiculously difficult, but we'll see. All right, time to go to the land of the potatoes. I have no idea. What is that on my screen? Is that supposed to be a chip or something? I, I don't know. And this portal is also taking forever. Okay, okay. I think we're in. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, this is actually pretty cool see what we got here same exact loot as before also for some reason my pickaxe just literally vanished I'm going back over the footage and noticed that it literally just broke as I opened the chest or something uh, not sure if that's a normal bug but apparently that's a thing all right so basically I guess our goal is to still find a village in this dimension yeah Okay, let's try and find a village, and maybe we'll go from there once we find a village. Maybe there'll be some clues on what exactly we're supposed to do here. And, yeah, let's just explore a bit. Alright, I heard a pig. There must be some pigs nearby or something. Let's see. Ooh, what's these spiky things? Like dripstone? Potato bud. That is the oddest potato bud I have ever s Okay, it still does damage like dripstone. Alright. And for some reason, you can't walk through those little. Oh. That is the most. I don't know. Scary pig I've ever seen. And there's a phantom just burning to death. Interesting, okay. <laughs> Alright, so we got a pig. And there's another. Alright, we need to work on finding that village. And there is supposedly also a new boss in this dimension. I guess our end goal for this series would be to defeat uh, whatever that boss's name is. It's some giant potato looking slime thing or something. I love how I just described that. That was interesting. Describing anything in this dimension is interesting. Like, oh, where do you live in a house made of potatoes? All right, we need to find something. We probably, we definitely need better weapons because we're just using gold. We need better armor because we are still using gold. And our pickaxe is gold, so yeah. And apparently that water poisons you. All righty. What's in this cave over here? I see... Is that iron? Something? Oh, okay. Creeper. 
skeletons, and they're made out of potatoes, obviously, which just make them blow up so they don't have proper armor right now. And yeah, eat some potatoes. Hopefully, they give enough saturation to regain health. But okay, a tiny bit, but not enough. What in the world is that sound? Oh, uh, oh, it's some sort of guardian? Where did that beam come from? Okay. Let's go down here. Alright, now I know where that beam was coming from. Let me just get rid of this guy. Hopefully he's not too difficult. And I'm already getting low on health, so I hate that you can place these potatoes everywhere and just make me place them by accident. Alright. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's get rid of him. Alrighty, get rid of that slime, and get out of the poison water. Alright, yikes, we have barely any health. Oh, half a heart. Uh, let's just not accidentally drop our sword. <laughs> let's try not to do that again. <laughs> Alrighty, just healing. And we gotta move. Oh, there are a ton of those things over there. Alright, let's go get some wood because we definitely are in need of it so we can make tools. And it looks like there's some sort of odd tree over here, so... Hopefully it gives us, I don't know, potato wood or something. <laughs> Literally everything is potatoes. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Great, yeah, I heard. Yep, there's a skeleton, okay. Let's just leave him alone. Maybe he'll leave us alone. Or... Nope, not leaving up. <laughs> okay. I feel like we keep coming to the same exact place with half a heart. And... I'm sorry guys, I'm using a controller on Java Edition and it is sort of difficult because one button literally just drops stuff and it's a button I use for something else on regular console all right we got another one of these guardian flat guardians potato guardians whatever they're called and yeah we'll just ignore him for a second till we can get better stuff yeah, they're potato guardians. At least that's what I think they're called. Yeah, we'll, we'll just call them potato guardians. Gosh, this is taking forever to mine. Okay, yeah, there's no way. I'm just gonna build around it. Yep, dropped something again. <laughs> All right, let's get some building blocks. Hopefully we can do this without him lasering us again. I guess I'll, I'll just use my water bucket the rest of the way. Oh, poisonous. Hate that. Alright. 
We are at the top. And... I think I saw something over the ledge. I don't know what it is, but... It's like... Uh... I don't know, we'll take it with us. <laughs> oh, it's like some sort of chorus thing? Okay. The other ones don't really give you anything, so... Moving on. All right, right over this hill. Oh wait, oh, there's something over there. It looks like a village or something. Also, there's a ridiculous amount of netherite here, which is crazy. Yep, no, I cannot mine that with a golden pickaxe, but we found a village. All right, yes. All righty, guys. So I think that's going to do it for this episode. But um, comment down below if you want this to be a little Let's Play series. And if you want us to take on the ultimate challenge, which is defeating the potato boss, whatever he's called. <laughs> All right. You guys have a great day.